we continue our tour, we're on the left side of the liver again. We're going to slide caudal to that liver, and our probe is still in a sagittal plane with the reference point towards the nose, and we'll pick up the spleen. We're in a long axis view of the spleen. Notice that at this point, my probe is straight up and down with the patient's body. I no longer have an angle to it, so I'm not fanning cranially. I'm perpendicular to the patient. From here, we're at the body of the spleen. And if we look, we've got stomach coming here. We have kidney coming here. We have splenic vein in the center. From this point, I'm going to slide the probe towards the left body wall, and I'm going to gradually fan underneath the last rib. That'll bring us to the head of the spleen. Some people refer to that as a shark's tooth because of its triangular appearance. Then we will straighten the probe back up until we're perpendicular to the patient. At this point, we're going to scan the tail and body of the spleen. Remember that the tail and body of the spleen is variable in its position and location. So this requires you to just move the probe. I typically don't fan. I just slide the probe side to side what I refer to as a typewriter motion. So we're going to slide this probe towards the right body wall, keeping the spleen in the field of view. And we're going to continue to come all the way over to the right side until it looks like we run out of spleen, which we've still got plenty of spleen here. Now we're running out of spleen, and you can see I'm way over to the right body wall. At this point, I'm going to slide just a little bit caudal, and I'm going to repeat that motion towards the left body wall, evaluating a little bit different portion of that spleen. And I continue to do that until I feel like I have seen all of the splenic parenchyma that I can evaluate. If I encounter a lesion or an area of interest within that spleen, then I will typically evaluate it in orthogonal planes, meaning I will turn that probe 90 degrees to where the lesion is at. As we're evaluating that spleen, it's important to notice the nice smooth echo pattern that's present, that we have a capsule that gives a specular reflection around that spleen. Here we're at the center portion of that spleen, which is our splenic hilus, and that's the splenic vein. And as I slide a little medial, the structure coming underneath that spleen is the colon wall. At this point, I'm going to adjust the depth. This is a shallow structure, and I don't need to have as much information on the screen, so I'm going to make our depth more shallow so that we can focus on the spleen, and we'll repeat that motion where we're out starting at the body or junction of the body and the head of the spleen. We've got kidney and stomach. At this point, I'm just fan towards the left body wall. It doesn't take a lot of motion, and we'll see the head of the spleen. We straighten the probe perpendicular, and we slide back and forth again in that typewriter fashion so that we evaluate as much of the splenic parenchyma as possible.